good to see you since Shanghai. Good to see you again. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to my kitchen, Agent Georges. So this is your natural habitat. This is home base. But you know, the reason I came to you today is because I have a lot of trouble cooking. And my boyfriend complains either I don't cook or when I do cook, it's not great. All right. So I need to learn three simple dishes to impress my boyfriend. Come step in my kitchen. <laughs> we try. Chef, I know last time you loved to use Eastern spices and oils. What do we have here? So this is really inspired from uh, Shanghai, our trip to Shanghai. So this, this, this is probably uh, chili oil. We use actually smoky chipotle, which actually... Oh, uh, this is chipotle? Oh, it's like a pepper. Pepper. Then we have, uh, here we have um, all spice, mm. fennel seeds, mm. mace, cinnamon. <laughs> and then uh, star anise, I think this is very popular. This is mala, star anise. We grind everything into a fine powder. Mm -hmm. And we warm it up in uh, some grape seed oil, neutral oil. Mm -hmm. Is this olive oil? No. Is no, it... this is grape seed, but you can oh, grape use seed uh, oil. vegetable oil. So we're going to warm it up a little bit. Oh, poop, it up. Poop. This is the result. Is it really spicy? It's fragrant. A little spicy. Oh, it's sweet and spicy. A little smoky mm. from the chili. So, there's a little bit of And I saw that you brought uh, some chili oil with you. I did indeed. You Nothing. Compared? Yeah, let's compare. Let's compare. <laughs> okay, that's what I brought. We love the old grandma. This is old grandma's spicy chili oil. Homemade versus uh, Ooh. old grandma's chili oil. Ooh. With chili, with old grandma, let's compare which Are you okay there? <laughs> I need Chef Joe to help me out. Uh, I need a strong young chef. Da chu da bu kai. How do I do? Old grandma da chu da bu kai. It's okay. I know you're a very strong man here. You only hire strong sous chefs. They finally won. Wow, this is this this looks. Look Whew, now I'm feeling the spice. It's uh, dangerous here. A good one too. Some大厨说这个好，他说也行。哇，太棒了，我的热爱。You're we cut this tuna into uh, into noodles. Noodles. Uh huh. Little strands of tuna. So just slide. Mmm. It's so, yeah. so good. So we add Thai chili, shallots, a little olive oil, a pinch of salt. Oh. I'm saying that if, if, if a girl who's watching this doesn't mix this dish for her boyfriend, she'll just propose. Because you have guacamole, you have ooh, tuna, and you have some radishes here on And then you have laogama dish. So, wow. so you have creamy, you have noodles, radishes. And then this is a little, uh, you have to try this. What is, is this? A sesame? Ginger. ginger. Soy. A little ginger soy marinade. Mm. So that's our, our sauce. Mm. Mm. This is the jiang and jiang yu. This is the one who made it. And then the secret ingredient from, uh, from China. Yeah. Chili oil. Wow! It looks just like yours. <laughs> <laughs> I think it tastes almost better. We gonna improve our. He said they should use their own spices. Yeah, that's why I said that they should use their own spices. Yeah, that's why I said that they should use their own spices. Yeah, that's why I said that they should use their own spices. Yeah, that's why I said that they should use their own spices. No? No, it's good. Oh, okay, okay. I like it spicy as well. Oh, Jean-Georges likes it spicy. Maybe the most important thing is finding the right piece of tuna. 
Is that there's a Muslim woman thing? But you could do that dish with uh, any other raw fish, for example, fluke or fluke. Uh, kimarai. Okay, so any raw fish. Then the dressing. Oh, okay, dressing. You just pour it on one corner. Okay, and then it travels to other corners. It goes everywhere. There we go. Okay. And then uh, the chili oil. Lao gama. All right, and some color. So I'm gonna try you mine, and I'm gonna try yours. Okay. <laughs> And is there a way to eat it? You, we have to get the noodles with the guac, guac a bit at of the a, same time. Exactly, a little radish for the crunch. So it's just a all about texture. Too spicy for you or not? No, it's just right. Really good. I'm gonna finish this. Please. Have you seen this before? I mean, I know you go to China frequently. I've been going for the last 10, 20 years now. It's not huevos rancheros. No, I did. <laughs> this is, the you know first time I had called? it, I thought it was Italian food. Really? Eggs and tomato. If you add a little basil, you're there. <laughs> Do you know what this is called in Chinese? No. Xi Hong Shi Chao Ji Dan. Oh my god. Try it. Xi Hong Shi Chun Tun Dan. Xi Hong Shi Chao Ji Dan. But this is everybody makes that at home. Everybody makes at home. So I need to learn how to make this. It's really embarrassing that I don't know how to make this. I have my own way of doing scrambled eggs, if you don't mind. Okay. So we're just gonna put. Use like three eggs. Scrambled eggs, I, I probably use three per, per. So I'm gonna show you my um, the way I like to eat the eggs, which is more like scrambled eggs. I'll add a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of butter. I love butter. Butter on eggs is, is the best thing, probably. Yeah, well, and all French use butter in everything, right? A little bit. Is know. that what makes it so good? It makes it tasty. So we're gonna scramble this. Mm. You wanna follow me? Okay. Oh. And we want it to be, you know, the more you cook eggs, uh, the drier they get. So the looser you get, you keep them, the better it is. Yeah? So you don't want to mix it too much, right? Yeah. Not too much. Can you see? Just wanna yeah. See how it starts to. Uh, wow, it's hot here. Yeah, very hot. How do you wear so many clothes and cook at the same time? You no, know, because that's why we wear white. It reflects the heat. Oh, that. Usually, all the clothes are white. That's why the heat is too hot. 白呢就会反光这个热 That's so interesting You know this is also my dad's favorite dish Are you serious? I feel like it's like a national dish here. Oh it's a national dish Everybody loves this dish uh, I'm gonna do a little contrast here We had some fresh tomato Dice up There we go Good Fried crispy rice that we're gonna add on uh -huh. the bowl to the dish. This is the crispy rice. This is a fried. This is rice. This is normal this rice. rice. Oh, this is actually just crispy rice. And then, uh, Chow, can we ask crispy? Can we ask Joe how he made this? Joe, where is Chow? Joe. Hi. How we? How do we make this rice? So it's a Nishiki sushi rice. Uh, we put it into a pan with some hot water, kombu, Japanese vinegar, and salt. Mmm. Yeah. It's really it's like polenta. Yeah, super soft in the center and crispy on the outside. Mm. Just added some roasted tomatoes, some chive. Wow, this is a Michelin starred Xi Hong Shi Chao Ji Dan. This is this looks like a garden. <laughs> mm. I'm from the I'm from the south of China. We eat the stems. We, wow. we eat everything. Oh, sure. There's nothing we don't eat. Good. <laughs> and you should try it with the crispy rice too. Oh, yeah, I'm trying for to contrast, you know. I know usually it's on uh, it's on steam rice, but um, I want to do a little curve this morning. So this is the pay me me fat. Can I just have a little bite? Wow, it's pretty good. Very good. How would you price this dish if it were on your menu? A lot of money. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. how much money? <laughs> I mean, usually it's, you know, for breakfast here, uh, John George, uh, we, you know, depends. I mean, without caviar, usually the neck dish is about 10 to 12 dollars. 10 to 12 dollars, yeah, 10 to 12 dollars, if it's a chicken 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 to probably 80. I don't know. If it's black truffle, we have to, we have to charge a little more. How much is black truffle? Probably 40. 
四十块美元的炒鸡蛋。Do you identify Celsius or Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit. How much is that in Celsius? It's a, it's a seventy. No, no, one seventy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Seems like nobody knows Celsius here. <laughs> We don't really know. <laughs> When did you invent cho chocolate lava cake? In 1987. 87. Tell us the story behind that. So it was actually a, a chocolate cake, almost like a cupcake. Uh, it was served warm with vanilla ice cream. And we did a party for 500 people. The cupcake was a chocolate, warm vanilla ice cream, but it was for 500 people. So we put 500 more like this in the oven. The temperature of the oven dropped. I served the cake, I thought it was cooked. When people cut into it, it was oozing out. I said, my God, I'm gonna get fired. All the cooked, all the sugar cake are half raw. They're not cooked. <laughs> and when I come out to say hello, they give me a standing ovation for the cake. And I put it on the menu the next day. So it's very simple. It's um, almost equal to our on um, on chocolate that you melt. Wow. A double boiler. Oh, what, what, a double boiler? So this is it's hot water. water. Water, and then you just melt it together. You just melt it. Oh, so oh. it just will make it melt. 底下呢，这个盘呢是有是有特别烫的水，然后你这样放上去，它就会慢慢的融化。Good chocolate, you cannot just warm up in a pot by yourself. By itself, you know, 因为巧克力你不能单独在在锅上去热，一定要这样去慢慢的融化 ，otherwise boils. It would burn. It would burn. 哦，要不然会烧焦。Yeah, yeah, because there's no liquid, you know. Two egg yolks and two uh, whole egg with the sugar. We're gonna we beat it big up to until they have a nice ribbon. Yeah. And a tiny bit of flour on the end. Wow. Oh. A little faster. This takes a lot a little of faster. strength. A little faster. Oh my god. <laughs> Less noise. Oh. <laughs> wow, chicken. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna pour the chocolate. Oh, okay. Oh, oh it's whisk as you pour. There we go. It is so smooth. Mm. Don't eat it yet. Mm. Wow, we eat it. Oh, we add a oh. little tiny bit of flour. Okay. Half a tablespoon. And we fill up the mold. It's a very sexy dessert. Mm. Why is that? I can see you know, it. You'll see when you taste it. Five minutes, you know, three hundred seventy-five because it has to be undercooked. Okay. Okay. Wow! Because actually, the main thing is to express your heart. No matter the result, the taste is good. Just because you have your heart, it doesn't look hot. Wow! 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 That's just for decoration. Then we put some uh, crumbs. So it seems like cooking is almost like it's a romantic gesture. It is. It's all about, you know, being inspired. Then we have uh, the chocolate cake. Usually we serve with vanilla ice cream, like, but could be could be coffee, could be caramel, could be chocolates, could be. A little cookie or no cookie. Powder, the magic. Voila. There you go. Okay, let's. I hope it's not too cooked. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Wow. And then do we get a bit a of ice, ice cream? cream. A little ice cream. Oh my god, it's so big. I hope it's it's fine. My mouth. <laughs> okay, guys. You can I do it. Want to <laughs> So the contrast of hot, cold, oozing. Mmm. Very aphrodisiac. It is it. It is. Mmm. 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 Surprising. Cheers. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video each week. You have tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.